Wendy Williams is a talk show host that I've disliked for over a decade. Her show is the kind of show you'd watch a 30 second clip of and immediately ask yourself, who the fuck is watching this and how does she have an audience? Wendy Williams is addicted to two things, cocaine and being an insufferable asshole. She has this incredible ability to take anything in the news and give you the worst possible opinion on it. It's a fucking scientific anomaly how she's able to do this. She can't even accidentally say something respectful. Like when Jennifer Lawrence's nudes were hacked and leaked on the internet, she insulted Jennifer Lawrence for it, you know? The classic victim-blaming thing of, well, if you didn't want your nudes to be hacked, you shouldn't have taken them. I've seen them a thousand times. Clap if you've seen Jennifer Lawrence's nudes. It's super scummy, disrespectful shit. We should all be thankful, though, that Wendy Williams' nudes haven't leaked because that would have everyone canceling their internet subscriptions ASAP, but the worst part isn't just how terrible she is as a person and the awful things she's done, it's the fact that people go to her for advice. That's like going to Charles Manson for advice. For example, one lady went on her show saying that her husband doesn't want another child, but she wants another child, what should she do? Wendy Williams tells her that she should trick her husband by stopping birth control without telling him. That was her advice. It's fucking crazy what she does and what she says and the kind of negative impact she has on everyone around her. Gus Johnson recently made a video about Wendy Williams where he goes into detail on certain things. And keep in mind, this is not even a quarter of the awful shit she's done. I highly recommend you check out Gus Johnson and Pay Money Wubby talk about Wendy Williams and joke about some of this. I'm not going to cover any of those. What I want to talk about and why I'm bringing it up now is because she's pulled the classic Wendy Williams by insulting a woman who was recently killed by a stalker. So I'll give you some background before I play the clip. Amy Harwick, famous Hollywood sex therapist, was recently murdered by a stalker when she was pushed from a balcony and fell to her death. She was also the ex-fiance of Drew Carey, host of Price is Right, and in Wendy Williams' most recent segment, she makes a joke about her murder. But it can't even really be called a joke because it's more just her insulting Amy's death and Drew Carey. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I'll play the clip. She was killed not by Drew, but by, by the ex. Come on down. Why are you putting allegedly? This story is everywhere. All right, lawyer lady, she threw allegedly in there. A real gut buster there, Wendy. Yahoo, what a side splitter. The audience reaction really says it all. Utter silence and groans of disappointment. But then the audience is so fucking stupid they go right back to applauding once she talks about allegedly being thrown in there. I, I don't know. The audience at Wendy Williams shows are just as bad as she is. They're so fucking stupid. I, I can't stand the audience. These people clap for cheating. They clap when Wendy Williams insults Terry Crews for coming forward about sexual assault. I mean, it, the audience sucks just as much as Wendy Williams does. But this one, even they couldn't mindlessly clap for a second, which is incredible. I've never seen that before on this fucking awful television show. I just really don't even get how it could have even been misconstrued as a joke because there's nothing in there that seems like it was supposed to be comedic. It just seems like it was supposed to be mean and remind Drew Carey that his wife was murdered. It doesn't even make sense. Come on down is an iconic line from Price is Right. And I guess her joke was... She fell to her death. Come on down. Wow, Wendy. That's really something special you've got there. You sick fuck. She looks like she died 10 years ago, but is being kept alive through some forbidden spell. Her eyes seem lifeless. They're fucking blasted wide open every second she's on TV. Her nose looks cave in, caved in like a goddamn skeleton. I don't understand how Wendy Williams can even think for a moment she has room to make jokes about anyone's appearance, their personal choices, or anything at all for that matter. She is an awful person, top to bottom, inside and out, and I can't fucking stand Wendy Williams. Wendy has only ever done one thing in her entire career that wasn't incredibly terrible. It was when she blasted a creamy fart into her panties on her television show. Room thing. That cop wasn't playing that. I mean, 
you're lucky you only got battery. This is the only good thing you've ever done in your entire existence, Wendy. And it was by total accident, which I guess is poetic. You can't even purposely do something almost remotely positive. Your asshole stepped in and did something nice for your shitty career. It's incredible, though. She is actually the first talk show host I'm aware of that has soiled their panties on stage, just caked in a wet mess. So I guess there's history to be made there for you, Wendy. This is your legacy. You're the first talk show host to shit themselves on TV. And that really should be your legacy. That's about all the good you've ever done and likely ever will do because you don't have even the most basic amount of empathy or decency. You're a terrible person and a terrible talk show host that is an awful influence on everyone that comes in contact with you. That's about it. See ya.